My name is Carson Arthur, international landscape designer and TV personality, and I'm going to show you how to install a flat surface using Rhinox pavers. Before beginning the excavation process, be sure to contact all water, electric, and gas utilities to determine the location of any cables, wires, or pipes in the area to be excavated. The contour of the excavation must exceed the surface to be paved by at least 12 inches. Place a geotextile fabric between the natural soil and the foundation base to prevent contamination. Spread 4 to 6 inches of 3 quarter inch stone and compact well. Level the bottom of the surface using a rake. To get good compaction and to minimize dust accumulation, slightly wet the stone bedding before you begin. It is strongly recommended to pass the plate compactor in a crisscross pattern multiple times to attain the best results. Continue this step until you've reached the desired height. Level the concrete sand using a straight plate. The precision of this leveling will have a direct and important impact on the final result. Place the paving stones according to the chosen design. Always begin with a 90 degree angle. Use a chalk line to mark the pavers that need to be cut along the borders. To cut the pavers, make sure to use a concrete saw. The use of protective ear and eyewear is recommended when cutting. Stone cutting should not be done in proximity to installed pavers, since the dust can stain the installed pavers irrevocably. Proceed with the installation of the zebra borders. The borders must be installed on the granular base and reinforced by nails to spread the polymer sand on the pavers. Be sure to sweep the sand into the joints by using a broom. Then, pass the vibrating plate in all directions to allow the sand to penetrate within the joints. Finally, brush the surface again to remove the excess sand. Follow the instructions as indicated on the polymer sand packaging. For more videos like this one, make sure to tune in to Rhinox.ca.